a sine or a cosine graph. We know that you gotta find your amplitude first, right? So in this case, my amplitude is three. Um, then we have our period. You know that when you're finding a sine graph or a cosine graph, your period is two pi divided by b. In this case, b is two. So two pi divided by two, and that is pi. Then we have our phase shift, which we are gonna call PS. And our PS is C divided by B. So C divided by B. So pi divided by two, or just pi over two. And then we have our, that means our midline is going to be at zero. I need to find a start point and an end point. Our start point, always matches our phase shift. Um, so that's gonna be pi over two. And then our end gonna be pi over two plus our period, which is pi. Now to add these two things together, I need to get like denominators. So I'm gonna make this two pi over two. So that's going to equal three pi over two for our end point. I do that, right? Yes, I did. Okay, now that I have all of my pertinent information, I can go ahead and graph. So we'll go ahead and we'll make a coordinate, maybe. It's lagging. Um, my amplitude is three, so up three, down three. Um, my start point was one pi over two. So we're gonna go to two pi over two and then three pi over two. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the, the little tick marks in the middle so that there's five tick marks, okay? It's a cosine graph. When you're graphing a cosine graph, you wanna start high, you wanna hit your midline, you wanna hit a minimum sign. Um, just for, just because I feel like being thorough, okay? If this was a sine graph, I would have started on the midline. I would have gone high. I would have gone back to the midline. I would have gone to a minimum. And then I would have gone back to the midline. So I would go up, down, and back up. Okay? So notice how the graphs are similar. All the properties are the same. The shape is different. Okay? So sines and cosines, if you know one, you should know the other one as long as you can change the shape. 